Listen. Um, brother Isu, 2022, I want to settle and marry. I want to settle and marry. I am showing you they may bring you a certain man who lives in a certain town and if you are not careful, you will reject it. Especially today where the women marry car, marry refrigerator, marry deep freezer instead of marrying a man. My wife was like the manager of her father's businesses. Very, very busy. Doing this and that and that. She had the opportunity to go to school in Spain, do something. Now she has to come and marry me and come to Borga. And I told her, I said, Nana, come and see. I want to take you to the house I come from. This was around 1987. My father was still an adult worshiper. He got born again in 1994, but by 1987, the man was still an idol worshiper. We had seven idols, and I used to call them the seven policemen. Two of them, the giant ones, were in front of the house. We went into the room, and the chair that was waiting for my wife was a bench. And I'm watching my wife. At that time, my fiancée or whatever, and they talked to her. The place was poverty district. Mad house. The roof was touched grass. Because at that time it wasn't roofing shit. And I'm looking at where she's coming from and where she's going. When we left the house on that day, on our way, I asked him, so Nana, how? He said, how? I said, would the marriage still come on? He said, oh. Is, what? Is you are marrying, not the house, not your parents, not your village. Is you, is you, is you, is you I'm dealing with. I'm marrying you because of your character. I'm marrying you because of your character. And this thing has nothing to do with your character. I came to tell somebody right now, you are looking for a blessing, but the blessing may be packaged in a way you will not like. She had to show me to barber my hair because I used to cut my hair once a year, though I was not Absalom. She had to show me how to use a toothpick. She had to make me interested in fork and knife. But you know the biggest mystery about mommy? When she came here, my mother, my father, my brothers, my sisters, she never looked down on anybody. No. And those of you that are our church members, you are witnesses. You've seen her all these years. This woman doesn't look down on nobody. And you look at her, her best friends in the church are the very simple, simple women in the church. Look at her.